Hello everyone, if you are managing a project and want to show steps of a process or provide a clear roadmap for member to better execution for a certain project, then creating a data flowchart is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used to outline tasks, milestones, risks and strategies to ensure the project execution. So this is Jihad Riyan Jim from Excel Demi and today we will learn several methods on how to create a flowchart in Excel. So the first question occurs, what is a flowchart in Excel? A flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of a workflow or process which is used to analyze and design a certain module decision. For this whole tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll insert shapes to create a flowchart. Go for the insert tab. In the illustration section, go for the shapes and here in the shape section, you need to find the flowchart. If you scroll down, then you'll get the flowchart here. Select the process section and now insert it here in this section. You need to make four copies of this by using Ctrl plus D in the keyboard. You'll go for the insert tab again, but in the flowchart, you'll also need the decision section. So you need to go for the decision here. So you scroll down again and now here you'll find in the flowchart section decision making. And if you insert them properly, then it will look like this. After inserting every shapes, you need to arrange them properly according to your wish. At first, I'll go for the arrangement section. Here I have got this. I have got this. I've got this and that's how we can easily rearrange them. We need to also connect them to make a whole process. For that, we'll go for the insert tab. Again, in the illustration section, we'll go for the shapes and here we have the line section. Select the line arrow and connect these two sections together. You can easily go for the shape format and select the color according to your wish. After that, go for the line section and here you can again connect them by using the connector. Again, shape format and do the same for the rest. After the rearrangement, the whole inserting shapes will look like this. But now you need to insert the shapes along with it. So now we want to create the sections. Suppose if we go for the shapes and double click on it in the mouse, then we'll see that it has opened the text options here. We'll write down the start here as our text. We'll go for the second section and again double click and start our second section which is step one and after that in the decision making we'll decide whether it is yes or no so we'll write down either it is yes or no and according to yes or no it will go through the step one or step two after that according to yes or no it will go for the next step suppose it has gone for the step 2a so we'll write down step 2a if it is yes Otherwise, it will move on to the step 2. So write down step 2b. We have just connected the whole sections, but now we need to also mention that it will take yes or no. So we'll go for the insert tab again, and here we'll go with the text option. Select the text box, and after that, create a text box according to it. After that, you'll go for the text. If it is yes, then it will show this section. So I'll write down the yes here. After inserting, the yes or no using the text box, the whole flowchart will look like this. If I describe it properly, then you'll see now it is showing, starting, then go for step one and then decision making yes or no. Go for the yes section, which will take you to step 2a and if not, then it will take you to step 2b. So that's flowchart for you. Now, suppose you want to do the same for a mathematical condition section. Here we have inserting shapes to create flowchart for a mathematical problem. At first, we have shown that if x is less than 40 condition and if it is true, then it will show the grade C. If it is false, then it will check whether x is less than 60 or not. If it is true, then it will take to grade B and if it is false, then it will check it is less than 80 or not. If it is true, then it will show grade A. So we can use the same inserting shapes to create a flowchart in Excel. 
In our new method, we'll be using SmartArt Graphic to create a flowchart in Excel. To do that, we'll go for the Insert tab. Here in the Illustration section, we'll select the SmartArt feature. And now we have the SmartArt dialog box. In this section, we'll go for the Process. And here we'll select the Step Down Process. At first, that and click OK to insert it here. Now, you can easily go for this section and write down insert it. If you want to change the layout, then you can easily select the whole thing and go for the smart art design. And here in the layout section, you can anytime choose anything according to your wish. Suppose you want to get the basic process, then I'll select the basic process and it will change its shape according to your choice. After that, you can easily go and select any of the insertion text. Suppose you need to go and insert tab in the first section, then go for it and now write down what you want to write here. Suppose I want to write raw materials. So write down raw materials here and go for the next section. In the next section, I again go for this and write down the manufacturing. So here I write down manufacture ring after that we'll go for the next section which is in this case finished goods finished goods and after everything this will look like this now suppose you want to change the color here if you want to change the color then select the certain box go for the smart design and here we will get the change color section if you click on it then you'll get your color section you can select any of the color according to your wish Suppose you want to go for the primary goods, then you will have this kind of color. If you want to get this kind of color, then in the colorful section, you will get it. You can choose any of the section according to your wish. After proper rearrangement and color, it will look like this. So that's how we can easily use the smart art graphic for our flowchart. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly. Or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at xlm.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.